Hello, it's Jesse Abwaja coming to you live and direct, and today I'm reviewing a subscription box service. Let's get into it. Just a quick disclaimer, this company reached out to me to do a review on their subscription service. So the box we're reviewing today is Lust Box. Now this company is based in, um, in Norway, I believe Oslo. And basically what they do is every, um, every month they send you four items, and this can be from style accessories to grooming items, or a combination of both. So um, let's take a look at the presentation. For the presentation, this is an all-white box with Lust Box written on the front, established 2014. Now to open it, oh actually there we go, all about the details. So this is where you open it and it has, um, it has a tab opening. I believe it's magnetic, so yes, you pretty much lift it up and you pop it open and there you have it. There you have your items in there. So let's, let's look at the contents. Let's take a closer look at the contents on the inside. First up, we have a pair of socks here. It's a nice green pair of socks. Not bad. Leaves cotton and we have um, a lapel pin dapper to lapel pin as you can see here and we also have a necktie this feels like cotton yeah we have um we have a navy and orange necktie here it's orange necktie not bad and the last item we have in here is a pocket square, which I also believe is cotton. Oh, it's from a, it's from a Norwegian, Norwegian company. Oscar Wooden thing. Hmm, not bad. So let's look at the value proposition of this. So um, this box here, I believe, is $40 a month for their subscription service. And I believe that is a bit on the high end because um, as you guys know, um, last, I believe in the fall, yes, in the fall, somewhere in September or October, I reviewed, um, I reviewed Gentleman's Box and that is 25 bucks a month. So this is almost double that. Now, I do understand this is coming all the way from Norway, so shipping is going to be expensive. So maybe that's why it's that high. But again, for four items, 40 bucks, it comes to around $10 per item, which is which is still justifiable. I mean, if you look at it from a price perspective, it's justifiable. Um, I know these boxes usually come with a card that says the value of, um, of each product, but I did not receive one with this box here. But, um, but I'm pretty sure that the, the whole value proposition of subscription box is that you're paying much less for an item, for the total value of the items itself. So this is $40 in year in total. So I believe maybe, maybe the items might even out to about 100 or maybe a little less. But I know for sure that the items in here are less than $40. But again, this is still high in my opinion compared to a gentleman's box where you're paying $25 bucks and you're getting from four to seven items and they average around $100. But nonetheless, still, it's, it's still a great value proposition. Personally, I think the price is a little too high, but yes, it's a, it's a decent offering. So yeah, give it a, um, check it out if you're interested in, um, interested in the gentleman's box subscription service. Again, like I said, these subscription services are for somebody who's, um, who's looking to build up their wardrobe. If you already have an established wardrobe, there isn't much these boxes can provide you. But again, it's a great way to explore new brands at a very uh, minimal cost, new brands and new products. So it's still a way to go if you, if you even have a, if you, if you a well-established wardrobe. So yes, that's my thoughts on um, Lust Box. My name is Jesse Abwaja once again. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to my channel, show me love. Until next time.